Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Dead Cells. What do we feel like playing with today? Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. War Spear. I'm gonna grab the shield just because I feel like I should grab the shield. And, all right, not a bad starting build. Just gonna speak my microphone's position there as it seems to have slid just a little bit into my face, which I don't like. And, uh, yeah, so, we're still going after Big Bird. And we can only hope that uh, at some point we will actually, you know, get, uh, whoop. We'll actually get his blueprint, well, which we could actually facilitate getting easier if we buy the hunter's grenade. I don't know if I'm gonna do that though. I feel like I should, but I also know myself well enough to know I probably would accidentally fire it and squander it before we could, uh, you know, make full use of its, uh, its powers. Kinda surprised I didn't end up throwing myself right into that. But life goes on. And I think, yeah, we're gonna make, we're definitely gonna make this a survival build. Because I would like to, you know, move away from doing all tactics all the time. Though I still love me some tactics. Alright. We're also fairly close to, also, Gonna buy something? You know, this is starting to... Oh no. Oh no, I guess only shopkeepers with a fire uh, place uh, would give it to us, but apparently, and this was brought to my attention in the comments, yeah, the shopkeeper will give you a, uh, a Vorpal frying pan called the Vorpan, which is, you know, a pretty nice weapon. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> come at me, bro. Don't come at me, bro, please. Okay, there's a good weapon there for tactics. Uh Alright, we've still got we've still got time here. Can I uh, No 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, keep following me, keep following me. There's gotta be a uh some oh god. What am I trying to do here? Nope. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, there's no way we're getting the time door now, so let's uh, forget about it. And... Boom. Okay, I got hit. Well done. You know, I think I could have made life a lot easier on myself back there, but uh, I didn't. That's my choice. I, I did that to myself. I have no one else to blame. I should buy the Hunter's Grenade, though, shouldn't I? I suppose, I suppose we should go back for it. I mean, that would be the reasonable thing to do. Because that way we don't have to worry about Big Bird ever again. Get our extra money here. I mean, obviously we'd still fight Big Bird, but you know what? I'm going. I I regret my choices immediately. I didn't realize it was 50 kills. Okay, well, um, you know it was nice knowing you. This has been uh, Gaming by Gaslight. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all of you in the next episode probably. But uh, yeah. In all seriousness, we can, we can totally, totally not die. Don't know why I thought this was a good idea. 50 kills is a bit much. But uh, I guess they really don't want you breaking those doors. Alright, Drifter Outfit, not bad. 
Uh, let's see, the cheapest is this one, so we'll unlock this one next. Actually, no, there was a 150 outfit there that we could have got. All right, well, um, let's see, there is something in here that lets, uh, let's see, increases, oh no, that makes, remove a curse requires 50% less enemies, consuming food curses you. I don't think, I don't think that works with, uh, Let's go with parry, which is probably gonna make me parry more. Also, are there ravagers in the sewers? I'm pretty sure there's ravagers in the sewers. I have made some bad life choices, is what I'm getting at here. Oh god, no. Okay, dude, could you... Could you, uh... Oh boy. I'm going to die. Oh god, there are ravagers in the sewers. Get out, 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 roll. Well, nope. Okay, this is you know what? I might as well just have a cursed sword. Why did I think this was a good idea? Nope. And but yet, yes. Nope. Okay, remember, you do have a shield, and you can be parrying enemies. Alright. See? That, that, that's what parrying looks like. God, I hate this, this, uh, this bomb thing. Nope, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? We're, we're just gonna keep going with that. Also, mouse, get off the screen. Yeah, I think we all knew that was, uh, that was happening, or that was going to happen. And it probably doesn't bode well for us, but you know what? If we don't take chances and make mistakes, we're never gonna learn anything. Even if, uh, what we should be learning is actually, you know, painfully, blatantly obvious. It's all good at the end of the day, probably, sort of, kind of. All right, I'll just take your money. You know what? I'm going to take that as an omen. Just, I'm not going to buy the, uh... Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. It's all, it's all good. It's all... It's all good. Just stop getting hit. That would be great. Okay. You know what, Gaslight? You're getting frustrated. You're, uh... You're not keeping your cool. That's a bad move right off the bat. Shouldn't be doing that. You know what? I gotta get rid of this sword. It's not, it's not for me. That is not bad, but it's not for me either. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's stop killing enemies and let, let's just get out of here. I'm done with this level. We haven't got both uh, stat upgrades, though. Get get out of my face, good sir. There we go. Don't like having to pay money for my for my stat upgrades, but hey, you know what? That's uh, that's just how you roll sometimes. Okay. Yeah, get, just just kindly die, vile fiend. All right, there we go. We're we're cool. We're cool. There we are. It's good. It's all good. Life makes you angry. Just just get out of the way. Just move aside. Take a moment. Relax. Remember, it's just a game. 
Uh, let's see. What do I most want out of this? I guess I'll take this, though I did see that said shots pierce all enemies. And we could still turn this into a tactics run. But I do want to avoid turning this into a tactics run. Because we've done many, many tactics runs in our long and illustrious career, and I think we should do other things from time to time. Alright. Plan stays the same. We left behind the Hunter's Grenade, which in retrospect maybe I seriously should have kept. But we'll fight Big Bird. We'll see what we can get out of it. To be honest, actually, now that I think about it, I kind of wish that the Hunter's Grenade was, um, you know, something you could get anytime you want it, but only one time. Like, it was like, it would appear in a store. I shouldn't have eaten that. But, um, it'll only appear in, like, every store you enter once. Also, speaking of stores, it was brought to my attention that, um, the shopkeepers actually have a interesting little item. You know what? I'm not going back for that, uh, one brain bat. Just not worth it. Anyway, yeah, shopkeepers, they've got, uh, a frying pan. Which I, I, I... I briefly looked at off camera because, you know, I thought it was it was an interesting uh, little thing. And uh, yeah. I I'm not sure though if picking it up has made it so that now it just appears in the regular loot pool or if it's an item that just uh, appears with certain shopkeepers from time to time. Cuz since grabbing it, I have not seen a fireplace wi Ooh, hello. Hmm. I do like this. But... No, it's faster. Though that final strike always throws me off. Whoop. Yeah. Just, it just... Because, because of the slight delay, you know, I knew that was going to happen, and yet, you're despicable, good sir. But you know what? If we don't use the item, then we'll never get used to that delay, which continues to haunt me and torment me and ensure I will never get a kill door ever again. You know what? If he can't turn around and look at me, that's all the better. Though, you know what? I think I am gonna try replacing this, though, because it doesn't match my... my own personal frantic, uh, style of swinging at things wildly and hoping that I don't get hit. And you have two choices in life. You can either learn from what's not working, or you can just avoid... or you can just keep doing the same thing over and over again until at some point it works. And, uh, you know, that particular choice is what we like to call insanity. Yeah. Insanity. The act of doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result each time. There's probably also a joke in there. Uh, about, well, just about any topic you can think of. You know, you know, your enemies, they always do the same thing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, people with different opinions than you, blah, blah, blah. They're insane because they think differently and do different things. I let myself get hit. By not paying attention. I really hate you, Bring That. I just want you to know that. Kinda hate myself for that one. But you know what? It's not about having a super optimal run. We're still... Our goal in life... Is... It's weird to me that that's now a pure uh, survival 
uh, item. But uh, don't get me wrong, I would, I would definitely argue that survival could use more good items. Because as I have frequently complained about in the past, survival really doesn't have a lot of great uh, active skills. Though having said that, it does always uh, bum me out a little bit when items are taken from my favorite skill, tactics, and given to someone else. You know, instead of just making something cool and new for survival. But then again, at this stage in Dead Cells' life... Well, then again, I was about to say, ah, we can't really expect them to keep making new items. But then again, every update, they keep adding new items. So, why do I keep letting that happen? I, I should know the uh, delay by now on that third strike. But I keep letting myself fall victim to it. And I probably always will, so I should—I might as well just embrace that as part of my DNA at this stage of life and, uh, you know, just be happy about it. I don't know why I would be happy about it, but, uh, you know. No, sir. And let's see here. I mean, reveal invisible enemies is kind of nice, but... Uh, probably not that useful, so I don't really know why I kept it. Because there's not really that many invisible enemies in this game. Oh, that's a lot of Ravagers. That I have somehow managed to avoid being hit by. But you know, Ravagers, as I've said before, and I will say again, they're really not that bad. Like, seriously, they're really... They're really not. I just need to make sure that I do not get hit, and we are good. And the best way to not get hit is to, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't overuse your shield. Or, no, not your shield. Don't not use your shield is probably what I should have said there. Which, uh, put in simple, proper grammar would be, do use your shield. Getting rid of those pesky double negatives. Alright, there is an extra door here. I assume this just leads to the... Uh, the... Yeah, the ancient sewers. And nowhere, nowhere particularly new or exciting. And even though I, I knew that function of the little teleporty thing, I still tried to use the other stuff. I really like this Explorer's Instinct rune. So handy. Makes life that much better. Anyway, moving on with our lives, we are continuing to... Continuing to not do great, but we're not doing terrible. I really would have preferred to hit him myself, but life goes on. And let's see, which would we prefer? I mean, this causes us to take twice as much damage, and it doesn't use a skill that we actually ourselves are specializing in at the moment, so probably no point in taking it. Just like there's probably not much point in continuing to move in this general direction. What weapon would I rather have with survival? Is probably the question we should be asking ourselves at this point. Because it's also pretty clear to me that I don't care all that much for... For this weapon, even though it is good. Mostly just because that third strike keeps throwing me off. Because I like rhythm. A nice, steady rhythm that I can keep to. Alright, so that's good. So far, anyway. And let's see here. We, we should be using our shields more. I also think it would definitely be a good idea to get the heck out of uh, the path to the Watcher. Because I don't think our current build is great for it. And also, I don't think parrying is very useful against the Watcher. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with this, because it just inflicts damage right off the bat. And it occurs to me... Actually, you know what I should do is I should just, um... I should just grab... You know what? 
Don't know why, but for a moment there I had this this strange feeling there was a secret area back there. But there wasn't. I also find myself wondering what is what is the point in this? This little gap here. Hmm. I also think, as great as the tornado is, we should probably replace it with something that'll actually give us more... Less. Well, actually, you know what, now, I've, now I see what it is. It's so that once you get rid of your curse, you can go back if you decide you don't like what you picked up there. See, that's, that's some, uh, that's some very thoughtful thinking on behalf of the developers right there, and... Okay, now is a good time to really slow our roll. No, no, no. Please die. Thank you. He did die. He did what I asked. I appreciate that. Don't think I don't appreciate that. I do like a good enemy that, you know, has the, the decency to just die. Yeah. So, ve very good stuff. Right there. And Big Bird should be in here somewhere. In fact, I think I just saw a big bird down there. In fact, there's a big bird right there. Alright, how do I want to do this? Oh, come on. You you don't know I'm there. That's right. No, 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 no. Roll out. Oh, good lord. It's a giant magic mic. Who is now coming after me? Haha, Magic Mike. What are you gonna do about that? That was just for practice. Gotta practice your uh parrying from time to time. And by from time to time, I mean you should always be parrying. You, uh, excuse me, money, thank you. Almost had me there, bomb boy, but not today. You know what? We'll just cheese everyone by... Well, we're standing in here. Let's see, is there anything we would rather have? The answer is no. Not at this particular point in time. Okay. If only there was a kill door after this level, we would be halfway there. More than halfway there, in fact. So, you know, that's, uh, that's always a plus. Beautifully done. Alright, you know... Oh dear. The more I use this, the more I'm, I'm feeling like uh, I actually know what I'm doing with this weapon. And the more comfortable I'm becoming with it. Which is kind of the point. So, yeah. Anyway. What else do we have going on today? Not much. Not much, though. I've also been just kind of just thinking aloud here, spitballing. I've been thinking to myself, because, uh, you know, if you've been with the channel for a while, you may have noticed that, uh, particularly lately, I have been mostly running like just this, uh, you know, like Europa Universalis type uh, videos, mostly. And, and I've been kind of, uh, I've been running less other stuff on the channel. Do I want this? I mean, the answer is kind of, but, uh, I'm not gonna take it, because even though in my heart I want it, I know in my soul I shouldn't. But anyway, I, I've been thinking to myself, something I really want to do is get back into, like, doing more content on the channel. And part of the reason why I had moved into... Vampirism would be good, I think. I'm gonna just recycle that, because I can. Anyway, but yeah, I, I like doing other things on the channel. And also, you know, it's it's good for people who don't really care for, you know, like, it, since a, a lot of what I've been doing lately has been Europa Universalis, and the reason I've been doing a lot of that is because it's really easy to record a bunch of those videos at once, which has allowed me to... Well, in general, I mean, something that I, I've been feeling guilty about for the last few months is that I've been really not paying 
as much attention to the channel directly. And part of the reason for that is because I had been feeling for a while that maybe I was getting like too, I don't know, I was too in to my channel if that made sense, or I was worrying about it too much. So I figured to myself, all right, what you got to do is you got to, you know, put your channel, make that like a, just a, like, you don't want to give it up, which is good, but you're also concerned that you're, you know, maybe like in putting too much, I don't know, like emotional investment into the channel and like how it's doing and if it's not doing exactly like meeting any, whatever arbitrary uh, performance goals you have set for it, you get discouraged and whatnot. So what you should do for a bit is just uh, sit back and, you know, maybe, you know, take a, a little bit of a step backwards for a bit. Focus on some of your other, uh, you know, the other things that you care about in your life and then, uh, you know, make sure that you've got a good balance in things, I guess is what I'm saying. And so, you know, I kind of, I was kind of doing that. And uh, maybe maybe going a bit too far. Uh, to be honest with you, in, uh, you know, in, in the opposite direction of instead being too invested in my channel, uh, maybe not being invested enough. And... Uh, yeah, anyway, so I've been mostly just doing, you know, these Europa videos because they're easy. They don't require me to do a lot of editing or other stuff in order to put out. Oh, okay, so yeah, the Vorpan is, after having grabbed it once, it's now just in the regular rotation of items. So, at some point, we will have to make use of that, I think. Anyway, so yeah, so there's that. But I do want to get back to doing other stuff. And something that I've been thinking about, like, just as a... As an easy way to get like a whole bunch of uh, new content just flowing through the channel, since the Epic's Game Store gives away like a free game or two sometimes every single week, that's an, a really easy and inexpensive way for me to, you know, fry out a bunch of stuff. Like just ma just like one or two off type videos. I'm thinking here, and of course, you know, there's other sources to find cheap or free. Uh, games in order to keep a, uh, a good rotation of new content flowing on the channel. And eventually I, I want to bring back some other, you know, old classics like I've been meaning to do a new RimWorld series, uh, newer things like uh, Zomboid, seeing as that uh, animation update is looking pretty nice. Whoa. And yeah, just, I want to make sure I'm doing as much as I can with the channel to maximize my own enjoyment and also make sure that it can be the best it can be, I guess is what I'm saying. But also not getting so invested and maybe worrying so much over it that I neglect other things I want to do in my life, like say focus on my writing and other life goals. Which, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm getting to a, a reasonably good place, so yeah. I guess that's my uh, mental health uh, status update for anyone who is interested in hearing about such things. I mean, possibly hearing such things may, uh, you know, anyone who's having trouble balancing their own life, they might hear what I have to say and be like, hey, you know, there's someone who's, you know, going for something not terribly different from myself and, you know, they seem to be doing okay, so maybe I'll be okay too. Or, I don't know, something like that, I guess. I want to be inspirational, is what I'm trying to say, but I don't necessarily know if I'm ever achieving that goal, but one can try, so, you know, that's that's something. And, uh, yeah, alright. So anyway, at, back to Dead Cells itself. Whatever secrety secrets are there potentially out there that we might wish to discover? The answer is... M oh, wow, we're, we're actually already at the end of the level. And you know what? If I'm really quick, which... Uh, um, I might no. Actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to pull it off. But if we're if we're quick enough, and if we don't get the uh, oh yeah, there could be a cursed chest here, so I should be paying attention to that possibility. But I think if we if we just left right now, we would still have a chance of uh, maybe whoop <laughs> of maybe getting the time door. But we do have the kill door. So at least we have one door. And if we're really lucky, we might 
we might even uh, be able to get the and, and by lucky I mean if we're skilled to be honest with you it's more about skill than luck we might even be able to get the no hit door from the boss which would be very lovely and I would greatly appreciate pulling that off yeah don't do that anyway so yeah that is where where things stand with me and uh, you know Having said that, hopefully things stand for you, and you know, I think part of the reason why I feel the need to, I don't know, maybe talk a little, just a little mental health stuff is because of a conversation I had recently with someone I know very well and generally, generally think well of on, in most things, uh, and the topic of depression came up, and they, uh, I don't think they realize what they were saying. Like, I don't think they're a bad person. They're just kind of, you know, they, they say stuff about thinking. But they were saying how, oh, you know, if someone's really depressed and they can't get out of bed, then they should just kill themselves and do the world a favor. Like, like to be clear, th this individual I'm talking about, I don't, I don't think they're a bad person. That is like a really, really not good thing to say. Uh, especially to, <laughs> you know, because... To be honest with you, there are some days where I can barely drag myself out of bed. Not not so much lately, but you know, I, back during the summer, I was kind of uh, in a bit of a, a bit of a state like that for a bit, uh, for various reasons. And uh, you know, the notion that you know someone you know, you trust, you generally think well of, would say something like that basically amounts to, oh, you should have you should have just killed yourself, you know very very hurtful and I should probably talk to them about this because again it's one of those things I may have just not fully understood what they were saying because I do have a history of saying stuff about really thinking about what it is they're saying and uh, I guess the point if any that I'm trying to make here is that you know you should think about what you're saying because uh, you know sometimes you may say something and you you may not intend to be hurtful but, uh, you know, to someone, to someone you know or care about, you may actually be saying something very, very not good. You know? So, uh, yeah, there's that. Just, just food for thought. Little, uh, little thing that I feel is worth mentioning. And, uh... Honestly, I, I kind of feel like I don't know how to segue out of that because it's kind of that's some heavy uh, stuff. Talk, you know, suicide, depression, stuff like that. Very heavy subject matter. That uh, yeah, I feel like I may have uh, yeah put myself in a position where I don't really know where to go from there. I guess. Uh, oh wow, I actually managed to parry that. All right, see that's good. We'll just transition directly from, hey, we're talking about death and depression, and now we're talking about, hey, that was a cool parry. I don't think there's any cursed chests either, by the way. Just, uh, worth mentioning as we get back to our regularly scheduled happy-go-lucky programming, where we're not concerned about the harder aspects of life. But yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's a thing. Ah, oh, and I lost my cells. Or my gold. I lost something back there, and that makes me sad. Anyhow, so moving on. Let's see. I mean, we could go back and get all those enemies, but do I really want to? I mean, the cells would be nice. But, uh... And we've, we've definitely missed the time door. But... I'm trying to think, because on the higher difficulty levels, I'm pretty sure you get more cells than you would lose. Oh, and there's not even a time door here. The time door is after the boss. Right. Again, this... That would be useful, but... To be honest, I almost think vampirism should be more of a tactics brutality thing rather than what appears to be if I was in the quick second I was looking at it, a... Uh, a survival brutality because but then again I mean I guess with that line of thought I was gonna say it's because oh well uh, survival's already got two mutations that heal you the uh, you know healing after a successful parry and the healing after killing an enemy 
But uh, what if you choose not to take those mutations? You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't be pigeonholed into taking certain things just because, just because. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I got hit or didn't get hit there, rather. Yeah, okay, yeah. Nope. You know, you really scare me sometimes. Incomplete one. Nice. Sweet and... Oh god, no, no, no. Just, just run over here. It'll be fine. Oop. No! No, 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 he's, he's too close. He's too close. Oh, thank Jeebus. Okay, you're... This is getting to be too much for me. It's too much. I can't handle it. No! I should have rolled. Or I should have jumped, but I rolled. I don't know why I insist on thinking that I can roll through that. It would be cool if I could, but I can't. Ah. <sighs> Screwed by my instincts yet again. Such is life. Very, very disappointing. But, uh, yeah. Why did I give that to Brutality? You know what, it's, it, it's totally fine. It gives us just a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra health. And that's not bad. Oh, 15 minutes. Yeah, I was nowhere close. <laughs> Not even a little, but you know what? That's also okay as life shall go on and uh, Beyond that uh, Let's see here Slumbering sanctuary You know, I like the slumbering sanctuary the stilt village is also nice formerly known as fog fjord a lovely place to visit perfect vacation spot or, you know, at least it was back in the day before uh, all the bad stuff happened here. I also find myself kind of wondering, do you think before, uh, yeah, there's really no point in going that way, probably. Uh, yeah, definitely kill the elite enemy. Oh, that it was bad form, sir. Oh, God. Nope. Okay, teleport up here. Come on. No. Don't give me that BS, sir. Ooh, Lord, that was uh, really scary. Oh, and you died. That was convenient for me. Nope. Okay, you know what? Let's no! <laughs> No, 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 let's not do that. Now, my gut says I should just heal at this particular juncture. Oh, thank Jeebus. That could have been really bad. But we are slowly healing, so that's great. I'm gonna die on spikes. I can, I can feel it now. Totally gonna happen. Death by sp Hello, Giant's Whistle, replacing Cluster Grenade. I mean, I, I think I'd have to be a sucker not to take the Giant's Whistle, because it lets me kill stuff without ever coming anywhere near it. And that's, that's just, uh, you know, that's just smart. Oh boy. I mean, I could go there, but I think I would rather just go this way. All right. And then we'll go back to the beginning of the level and uh, hopefully not encounter any bad stuff. Hmm. No! No, no, no. I might have been able to kill that. Could have giants whistled it. Ma oh, God. Why? Why such a combination? Keep attacking. Don't ever stop attacking. 
Oh, that is a really not nice combination. But then again, Gaslight, you have cool stuff like that. So, yeah. You know what? We're gonna be okay. Probably. We might be okay. Well, I'm gonna trust we'll be okay. You know what? Do I really want to go this way? There's this whole middle area. And we might as well clear that out now. There's also probably a food shop somewhere around here if we really end up in trouble. There usually is. Okay. Yeah, kill it. Okay, I was gonna say, if that did not kill him, then God help us all. Beautifully done. Like, they want it to die, they dove right into it. Oh god, they, you guys were here this whole time? Alright, wait for it. Wait for the giant's whistle. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, how did that hit me? <laughs> oh, gaslight. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that is how we met our unfortunate end this time, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, yeah, take care of yourself and I hope to see you all in the next video.